Hi, this is the brand new Nikon WU-1B wireless adapter for the Nikon D600 camera. Okay, so this little piece here comes with a case. Just pop it open, fit it inside, close it. Um, your strap, if you're using one, will slide through here. I don't, I don't think I'll use it because I don't use a strap that often. Probably should, but I don't. Um, you'll also want to go, if you're using an iPhone like I am, you'll want to go and download WMAU. That's the app from the App Store for this. Let's make sure that's what it's called. I looked up Nikon Wireless Mobile Adapter, and the first one that came up was the app for this. So it doesn't come with it. It doesn't come with anything telling you where to get it or anything, which I thought was kind of weird, or I missed it. I didn't see it. It came with information for Droid, but it didn't give me information for iPhone. So anyways, I had to go download this wireless app. Um, the other thing I needed to do was I needed to go into my settings after I plug this into the camera, turn it on, you get some green blinking there. You go to your settings in your iPhone, you go to your Wi-Fi settings, and you should see it in there. It's called Nikon WU3000. Tap on that and connect it. Now you can um, encrypt a code in here so that way not anybody can just have the app be near you and take over your camera. Um, by default, it's, it's just open. Anybody can connect to it. So you might want to change the setting in here to connect to this uh, with a password. Okay. Anyway, so mine has connected to it. I'll take some close-up shots and show you pictures, images of everything at the end of this uh, demo here. So once you have it, I'll go to my app. Let's see, I'll try to focus a little bit better here. Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to see it. You'll need to see the photos. But anyways, if I tap take picture, you hear a click. The screen changes. It's sort of it's pretty much live mode now. So uh, you can no longer control live mode from the back of your camera. You have to do everything from here now. So, so as you can see, I move the camera around, and it's pretty responsive. It doesn't take too much. It doesn't have too much lag. As you just saw, it just kind of flipped. It seems to freeze for split seconds every here and there which is annoying to me and the other thing that I'm kind of disappointed about is the fact that um, I can't control video through here I all I can do through here is take pictures make sure it's in focus it does help me to get focus take the shot from a distance um, that's cool. It'll download the image instantly to your camera. Um, when I say instantly, I mean it takes a few seconds for the picture to get from there to here. So if you're taking a lot of pictures, you might want to turn that off because if you're taking pictures with people and you want to show it to them, it's going to really slow you down. So anyways, um, it's, <laughs> at best this thing is really good as like a remote shutter release. Um, it's good for that and it, like I said it's good for getting quick focus make sure you're focused from a distance if you're alone and you don't have any help but besides that eh, if they can make this control video if I could hit rec record from here I would like that a lot better so anyways I'll, I'll take some close-up photos of everything and post it right now